Anyways, hey everybody, welcome to BTG. This so, is... <laughs> <laughs> all right. Hey, hey As you probably know by the title, this video we're talking about dead people, and actually specifically 199 legally dead humans and almost 100 pets await to be revived. This is like some Star Wars stuff. Right? Didn't they we, do that in Star Wars with Han yeah. Solo? Well, he was not by choice. <laughs> he was frozen in carbonite, right? To like... But anyways, would you... Like if this... Like if you're going to die super young from like a weird disease and you knew you are going to die, would you yourself... If this was an option for you, would you be cryogenically frozen to see if you could be brought back in the future? No, because I don't want people walking by this glass tube looking at my shrunken. Is that frozen. glass or is that like stainless? Well, you know how small your d would be? Frozen? Like you'd be shrunk to nothing. But bro. you can't see through those. That's true. They're like stainless. <laughs> I don't want people to see me lacking. <laughs> Well, you ain't gonna catch me lacking. You know that yeah, video where that hurts. ghost, you know the video of that kid where he's like, when you're trying to catch your ghost lacking and he's in the shower, like brushing his teeth and he's got like the shower curtain behind him and he like looks up mm. and puts his, his toothbrush down and just reaches back and hits the, <laughs> I don't know, it's hard to, play that clip right now. <laughs> Okay, now you guys have seen that clip. That's what I'm talking about. It's freaking hilarious. Watching the kid trying to catch your ghost lacking. I don't want people to catch my 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 D lacking, son. Here's the thing, though. What if you're brought back in a time? Maybe, like, people no longer have genitals. <laughs> so, like, you're still the weird one. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> right? Like, they're like... We have become, we have, we have gone past that time and place. You're right. You're absolutely right. I don't we, know. What we the, no longer need genitals. <laughs> dude, I don't know. I don't know what I would do then. So yeah, I guess to so answer they just your like question. Chomp yours off. They're like, Whick. I guess I would want to be, yeah. Freeze me up. <laughs> Let's just see. Why not just see? Most people die and they're buried in a grave and no one, I don't know. You don't even have the option to ever potentially come back. Let's just see if I can come back. Should we play this video though? Yeah, I just wouldn't want to, like, if you're really old, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. if you're gonna, if you die old, why would you want to come back when you're like a hundred? I feel like to only do this, you would have to be like thirties, forties. Like, you die like of some unexpected disease, like it kills you, but like you could just choose to do this instead before you like your brain dies. Yeah, you come back. If you're like 80, you die and you and they bring you back. It's like you're on disability. You can't walk. <laughs> like you're, the world is nuts. Like there's UFOs and stuff. Fly, there's aliens. You can't even explore. You're just in a hospital. As soon as you come back out, you're in a hospital because you need like a walker and an and an air machine. Well, are you for sure you're gonna anyways think you like your mu muscular like what's it called muscular atrophy like NASA people get from being in space. That doesn't happen when they freeze you like this though. You don't lose muscle or anything. No, huh? watch the video. Oh. We're going to show you. Well, there you go, people. Watch the video. It only costs like, I think, <laughs> I forget watch how much it. it costs. It was like a couple hundred thousand dollars or a hundred thousand dollars to freeze yourself like this. Let's play it and find out. Yeah. F around and find out. Yeah. The more you fuck around, the more you'll find out. See, as you can see, the more you fuck around, the more you're going to find out. And also... If you stay down here and you never fuck around, you'll never find out. So I hope this lesson is helpful. Thank you. If you didn't see that on our Instagram, you ain't a real you ain't a real baller. See, even I'm learning something new, so now everybody can learn something new, right? Right. Play it. some of the lives we've tried to preserve. Uh, the one in the middle is uh, by far our youngest patient, not oh, quite three man. years old. A little girl from Thailand who had She's going to have cancer. a great life if she Both was her survived. parents were doctors and she had multiple brain surgeries and nothing worked, unfortunately. So they contacted us. Um, because they were actually medical professionals, they actually set up an operating room in Thailand and we could send a team out there and do the procedure we'd normally do locally. That guy's jacked. 
He's doing some some steroid so they're procedures. Not really dead, they're just uh, legally dead. They're not biologically dead, obviously, because you can donate all kinds of organs that are still viable and keep other people alive. Uh, it just means that something critical has failed that we can't fix today. Instead of just disposing of the patient, uh, give them to us, we're going to stabilize them, stop them getting worse, and hold them for as long as it takes for technology to catch up and allow them to come back to life and continue living. Oh, 200,000. I don't know what that is in euros or whatever. It's about the same as like the It's dollar. almost like is it? close. what you'd be thinking about in a college dormitory discussion. If I could just freeze myself and then defrost myself, kind of like a bag of peas and wind up way in the future, wouldn't that be cool? Sounds okay, but then you realize how much we are products of our own time. That may seem like science fiction. Stop hating, today, bro. Today, there are many people among us who were conceived in a Petri dish. Over 5 million people. In 1978, uh, the first test tube baby was considered shocking, immoral, unethical. And <laughs> people wondered, is this a human? And the same type of criticism is often reflected on cryonics. Um, they won't be human when they're revived, or who will they be? Will they remember themselves? And what, you know, it'll be a frightening world. I don't think so. Thing, they're right in the aspect of like your brain, right? Like your brain activity. Because think when you go into like a coma, like people don't, like they lose all their memories and stuff, right? Like if they're in coma, I don't like, think people in comas lose all their memories. Do they? I, I end don't up know. not being able to talk and stuff too. I wonder if they do or not. I don't know. I'm just curious if like that stuff stays in there for like ever. Wow, so that was the end of that. I thought they were going to go a little more in depth. I mean, that was pretty in depth, I guess, but it's still um, nuts, dude. That'd be crazy. Yeah, that was to be I don't know, to be frozen like that. I I know I watched a video where they said as soon as they freeze they freeze your body to this crazy level as soon as you are declared legally dead and then they pump you full of these prone proteins and amino all this, all the vitamins and nutrients necessary to keep your muscles and stuff from doing like what you were talking about yeah. and decaying away and stuff like that. So they keep the the body completely how it was when you died. No nuts. Yeah. Here's my question though. Like that little um, Asian girl, she died from what was it? Some kind of cancer, right? Yeah. They said they did multiple brain surgeries. I think. Yeah. So here's the question: If she died from that. How can you bring her back? Her body, wouldn't her body not have the ability to come back if she died? Like, like well, what I'm trying to they say. They can bring their brain back to life. Because you can always get a heart pumping again, right? Because you can do heart surgeries. Yeah, but it's like we did everything we can. Her brain dissolved to the point where she died. Her body. Well, they did surgery. She might have had brain cancer or something. Right. So she died, though. Like, she <laughs> fought as long as she could, and she died. Her body doesn't have the ability to to continue on. So how could you bring that body back if it's, like, to the point? Like, like it's different, like, a situation where, like, a guy got shot, and he bled out on the street, and he died there like that. Like, that's a body you would think, oh, let's freeze him. We might be able to bring him back. But... But did she die from the surgeries? Like, are, what if they're able to, like, repair that brain to the back the way it was supposed to be? Just take her brain out, thaw it out, repair it, put it back in. And th like. Yeah, if they can fix her brain back to the way it's supposed to be, would she come back to life? They this, get her Because they just have to get her heart started. The whole thing is, like, your brain and heart have to, like, work in, like, like combination, right? Like, if one dies, you're dead. Yeah. Like, they have to both be going. This does sound sci-fi. Yeah. Seriously, how would you bring her back? Like an old how person. How do we do a lot of things we do these days? Though. I know, but it's People like I always thought that. Yeah, but right? they yeah, but they have like somebody in there who's like super old. You're like, how are you going to bring back this individual? Their body it's like it's it's they're saying we can make you we can bring you back <laughs> and make you keep living. But their body is literally it didn't have enough in it anymore to keep going. Like you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, but what? the surgeries are my, what caused her to die. Not that her body couldn't keep going, but them, like, messing with her brain, eventually they're basically the ones that killed her because they were trying to fix it, but they couldn't. 
So, yeah. But if you can take that part out and fix it with something that actually does work. Maybe they can give her a brand new brain. Like well, then she would be her. Brain. You'd have to, like, repair your, the same brain. Otherwise, she'd... Like, if you just gave her a new brain, she'd never be her again. Right. That's true. She'd just be a whole other person. <laughs> this you feels... Know? Yeah. This feels to me like some... Does this feel like some God stuff to you? I don't get that vibe. Some people might say that, like, oh, you're trying to play God. I don't necessarily get that vibe from stuff like this. I think they're just literally trying to help people and save someone's life. They also don't have the ability to thaw them out and bring them back to life yet. They just know how to freeze them. Yeah, we know how to freeze them, and, <laughs> and hopefully one day someone else will figure it out, <laughs> basically. Because I bet you by the time we do figure it out, the guy that's started this project, he'll be dead. He'll be a billionaire. Hope well, maybe. 200,000, man, that's nuts. You said 200,000 euro is about the same U U.S.? I think so. Actually, I think the U.S. dollar is – well, I know right now I think the dollar is higher. Oddly enough, because I know our dollar's crashing like a mofo lately. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's – it'd be cool to see. They need to, be like, take a person that has nothing wrong with them, freeze them, and then see if they can bring them back to life. That's right? what I want. Yes, that's what I want this whole thing to be about. I want you to freeze a human with no issues, and let's wait fifty years even. Freeze well, a twenty, freeze a twenty-year-old. Test the limits first, like go a year, and then see if you can do it. Because if you can't do a year, you definitely do in twenty years. You know. Right. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Like a month, even wouldn't, a month. Wouldn't that be crazy? Like one month later. Why wouldn't they try that? Well, because you got to find someone willing to do it. Well. A 20-year-old on death row, maybe, right? Well, yeah, they, then they're going to die anyways. Yeah, you tell them, listen, man. We if you do this you and you survive, like, we'll let you go. It's possible you're going to be alive again in a year. Yeah. We're going to kill you and freeze you up, and we'll, you might come back. And if you come back, you <laughs> you start off as a new person. No, if you come back, you finish out your prison sentence. <laughs> <laughs> you go back to the electric chair. <laughs> Well, then why would they like, do it? No, you know, you gotta, there's got to be some kind of incentive. Otherwise, it's going to be like, ah, is it? Okay, so the incentive is we freeze you. You're going to die regardless. Well, yeah, but some people, they're, they're like, well, I can drag this out and sit on death row for the next 30 years. Till no, I die. you get somebody that's like, hey, your your date is set for Monday. You're dying on Monday. So here's your, here's your option. You can either be frozen for mm -hmm. science and you might potentially come back in a year. Or you're just going to be fried in this chair and that's the <laughs> end of it. Like, and if you come back after we've frozen you, we'll cut your sentence in half. How about that? Because <laughs> you have to, like, you can't just get away with murdering millions. Of, well, not millions. If we but, bring you back, you won't have to go. You won't be killed. You'll just serve the rest of your life in prison, but you'll, like, be fed and taken care of. I'll be like, no, man. If I come back from this, your little science experiment, I want half this sentence gone at least. So like I'm life. doing twenty, I'm doing what? Well, like what's a life sentence? Twenty, twenty. Yeah, but if he's on death row, he does, he's not getting out. Yeah, but so if now you you're do this the, for science. What's, what's half a death row? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because yeah, they give those guys like five hundred years plus <laughs> plus two hundred years plus another year for this. Like they add these stupid little. It's like just tell them you're never getting out. Their just incentive would have to be like we'll let you come back. We're not going to let you go. But you'll get to live, like, but maybe some people want to die, but that's, that's <laughs> we have to compromise, too. you know? We'll give you a little insight. We'll give you a little bit extra in your cell, you know? We'll bring you some good food. And like, yeah. If you come back to life, you're going back to prison, but you won't have to deal with death row anymore. You'll have a new outlook on life, <laughs> for sure. Yeah, you're like, oh, Matt, but, but there's still a chance you're going to die. Yeah, <laughs> you might. Yeah, you might start thawing out like some other stuff happens and like you, <laughs> you melt, your skin cells just start to dissolve after you thawed out completely. We never know. You come back to life just long enough to have the most painful death ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a slow death of like, you know, when you unthaw frozen meat and it starts to rot. That's what the body would do. Like you unthaw it and it, it comes alive and it's good for like a day or two. And then it just starts to smell. You, your arm starts to, and your skin is peeling off easily. Yeah. Like you're like, oh, you, you slowly just peel away. His like insides, his organs just start burning. He's like, ah! 
<laughs> but then you'd be even happier, right? And we like, would be happier because yeah. you're a murderer and you have this coming. One way or another, what if he really did do it? Damn. There's tons of people who are we, we, I think we did a video on this before, didn't we? I think so. I'm mm. not sure. But I know there's tons of people who Check are wrongly convicted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, go watch our other stuff. But anyway, uh, would you be frozen? Would you not be frozen? Would you give your body to science for this beautiful cause? Check yes or no. Let us know in the comments section if yeah. you want to donate your body to science. You could do that. Well, they're not donating. They're paying to have it done. I think people can also donate, though, if they accept you. Well, you can donate to science, but then they can do whatever they want with your body. Yeah, but I'm saying specifically donate to this company and tell them, listen, my my son or daughter, what could you say? They had a heart attack and they died at like 30, and he's going to donate his body to this. He put it in his will. He wants to donate He wants his body. to be frozen, and you can try to bring him back to life in yeah. the future? All you got to do is put a new heart in him. But then why are people having to pay if you could just donate? Why? That's true. Why? <laughs> well. Be like, well, I'll just rich, donate then. I don't need to pay. Well, you. I know, but rich people probably are doing it. They're like, listen, man, when I die, I come freeze back. me. I want to come back. Even though I'm like 96. Hugh Hefner's in that, up in that. Yeah, for sure. Hef's in there. <laughs> I think Walt Disney, too. Walt. Warren <laughs> Buffett's going. Bill Gates. They're all going to this place. Yeah. That's what Tupac did. Yeah. Rest in peace. R.I.P. Pour some out for Tupac. Well, I pour it in my mouth. <laughs> Shout out to the king, Tupac. But. Damn it. I lost my. I thought I had something good I was going to say, and I lost it. <laughs> um. Anyway. Uh. Yeah. What do you think? Solid. I would do it at a certain age. I feel like once I'm old, though, like, I'm not going to want to come back when I'm 80. Because, like, how long is your life really going to be, you know? Yeah, I don't. Oh, yeah, that was my point. But I'll continue our conversation and then get to my point. <laughs> no, I don't want to come back when I'm 80. That would suck. Like we, like we said at the beginning of this video, yeah. you're going to die as soon as you come out of being unfrozen. The only thing that's going to be cool about it is you probably get to see, like, like, there'll be live CCT footage of people that are now living on Mars and stuff. Like, there's colonies, and you're like, oh, my God, it's so cool. Can I go? They're like, no, your body's not going to make the journey. You're too old. Plus, we don't need you up there. You're like, damn. <laughs> and think about it, though. You, like, never aged. <laughs> yeah, you just, if you were 20 when you were frozen and this, this stuff works and you come back, it's you're like, still 20. damn, there's a new president. There's been, like. How many new presidents in 20 years? Like, damn, who is this guy? And why are we in World War III? When you come out, like, they immediately send you to the military. You're drafted. <laughs> You're going to World War III. Well, You're you, going to be on a submarine. <laughs> did you watch Demolition Man? Uh, yes. Is that? Oh, no. Sylvester I'm thinking Stallone of Robo Wesley Snipes. I'm thinking of RoboCop. I did see Demolition Man, too, yeah. Because that's what happens. He gets frozen and brought back to life. But that's like his prison sentence. Gross. Who, Wesley? No. Well, they both do get... Wesley Snipes not supposed to be, like, unfrozen. He gets unfrozen. But <laughs> Sylvester Stallone has, like... That's their... He's like, oh, you think... But you, like... You think you're not alive, but you're alive. Remember, he gets all, like, mad because he's like, I mean, how about having a 20-year nightmare? Bro, I trust me. I watched that movie. I remember nothing oh, about it. I've seen it multiple times. <laughs> yeah, I saw it once. I know I've seen it once. Yeah. I literally don't remember anything about that movie, yeah. though. I just remember movies all the time, too, for some reason. I'm terrible when it comes to movie stuff. <laughs> but, but, but anyways, back to your point. What, what did you want to yeah, talk about? Yeah, the one point I had, we can do heart transplants now, right? Mm -hmm. That's a pretty easy and, well, not, it's probably not easy and simple, but it's doable. It's very And it's done widely in the world today. So why are people still dying of heart attacks? Well, because you don't know when you're going to have one. Yeah, but once they have one and they get to the hospital, if they die, can well, you, we pluck their heart out and give them a new one? No, because your brain died. You What? what, what? Yeah, but people do heart transplants. But they, 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 they do a heart transplant because they, they – uh, when you do a heart transplant, they, they run a machine and they basically bypass your heart but keep your blood flowing through your body. Why can't they do that with a heart attack patient? Because when, if he actually died, your brain died. It shut down. It's like it got unplugged. You can't just plug a brain back in. No, your heart died. But when your heart dies, your brain dies. Yeah, but when they bring you to the hospital but and you're, you're having a heart attack. But think, it's pumping. When they bypass it, 
it's still pumping. Your brain still thinks you have a heart because the blood's still flowing through your body. Yeah, why can't they do that with heart attack people? Because they already, if they already died, no your blood's but, not. But working. you didn't die yet. You're having a heart attack. You go to the hospital. You're in the ER for a heart attack thing. They already oh. got you set up, and you die there. They hook you up real quick to this new stuff yeah. that keeps your blood pumping. It, it have to have because your brain they can't do they can't do a brain transplant. Did your brain die immediately, or isn't there like six minutes or something where it keeps <laughs> going? I think, man, once your blood, I don't know. It doesn't take much time. I don't think. So how do they do? Well, I suppose yeah, with heart transplant patients, they put them under. They they Your get brain everything is key. set up. Your brain is like the key, right? I'm just yeah. wondering if we can do heart. I'm an idiot. Okay, so this yeah. is probably somebody's probably thinking I'm the dumbest person in the world. For no, asking. not necessarily. But like, I'm thinking like if we can do heart transplants, like people, and people are always donating their hearts, right? People are donors, organ donors, all over the world. Yeah. Well, for one thing, I think it's got. There's probably got to be somehow there's got to be a match, I bet. I'm not sure how, but I don't think you can just take, I'm not sure. Can't don't quote me on this. Heart. I'm not 100% on this, so don't quote me on it. But maybe you can't just take, maybe not just anybody can have that heart. Because what if like, how does that work? Because everybody has a blood type, right? Yeah. So I wonder if that has something to do with the heart too. Like if that heart always had like type O, negative, whatever, plus whatever running through it, can you put... B, you know, in it. Damn. Why are you trying to shut down my dream here, oh, dog? Not. I'm just curious. No, I don't know. You're being hateful. No, I'm just qu I'm questioning it because I don't know. <laughs> and maybe maybe I'm wrong. I don't, you know, it's something I, I'm, I'm not no. like a smart person on this subject, I guess. I think you're right, though. It's That makes sense. I don't know if hearts are sensitive to blood types, though. That, and I got, that I bet sounds dumb. Age would have to do some, like... What if you're like a small kid? You can't take like an adult heart, you know? Dude, C.T. Fletcher took the heart of a tiny Chinese or a, t a tiny Asian woman. You know who C.T. Fletcher is? But the they, it was an adult heart, though. Like, but she was a little Asian female. You can't female. take like an infant heart that's like this big. Well, obviously, <laughs> no. What if you could? You would just be weak until the heart grew. <laughs> you just like you would not be able to wipe yourself. You would not be able to get out of bed for like... Till at least like five years old, <laughs> and your heart's yeah. like you can you can start moving as an adult. I don't know, that'd be stupid. And I'm some people, some people even still die from it because they like their body like rejects the part. Yeah, that happens all that's, the time too. Yeah, that's true. I know we're probably oversimplifying the hell out of all this. Like, why can't you just slap a new heart in somebody that's got a heart attack? Now, why don't we have synthetic ones? To me, is like. That's Crazy. the real question. Can we hook up a synthetic? Because they have like pacemakers and shit. I don't know what a pacemaker is. I've lived my whole life and I don't know what a pacemaker is. What is it? <laughs> I don't know. I think it. I think it uh, regulates your heartbeat. Like if you have like a heart, like a really bad murmur and stuff like that. I think it regulates like. It makes your heart beat the way it's supposed Keeps to. Keeps pace with your heart. Yeah, because it's a pacemaker. <laughs> oh, it yeah. makes the pace. It sets the pace. How do I not know what a beat. pacemaker <laughs> is? <laughs> <laughs> if your heart's beating too fast. I've been having some irregular heartbeats. I don't. I think I've been having many panic attacks for the past couple of weeks. <laughs> I don't know why, man. I'll be driving somewhere and just my heart's beating like nuts. And I don't, Are you loaded I don't, up on caffeine? Nope. Oh. I will every now and again, like maybe three times out of the week, I'll have a cup of coffee in the morning. And it's not like a bunch of caffeine in the coffee either. It's a normal cup. Huh. My heart, I don't take pre-workouts. I don't take any weird supplements. It's just, I think I've been having many panic attacks and I don't know why. Um, Weird. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyways... <laughs> This has been fun. Should we cue the <laughs> Leave it on a sad note. Everybody, yeah. watch out. <laughs> watch out. You could die at any time. If your heart's beating crazy like mine, you better check it. Go check your vitals. Get a pacemaker. I don't know. Do something. <laughs> yeah. um, cue the music, I guess. Ladies and gentlemen. This was. BTG. Your mom has been cued. The skis has spoken. Hey. No, nah, man. This is you BTG. Know. Is it? <laughs> we out. <laughs> uh, where are the aliens? Maybe they're among us, I don't know.